An investigation is underway in the U.S. into the 20-year-old gunman who attempted to assassinate Donald Trump over the weekend. U.S. President Joe Biden called for a nation unity, national unity, in a rare Oval Office address. And Trump is pushing through for the Republican National Convention. Our Shin Ha-young starts us off. The U.S. Secret Service is investigating the circumstances surrounding an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump during a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday local time. Authorities identified the gunman who attacked Trump as Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old man from Pittsburgh. CNN reported that Crooks fired at Trump from a building rooftop outside the rally's security perimeter before he was killed by the Secret Service. The FBI says he acted alone using an AR-style rifle believed to have been bought by his father, and there are currently no public safety concerns. According to the New York Times, Crooks came from a typical middle-class background with mixed political views. He was registered as a Republican while his mother was a Democrat and his father a Libertarian. In a primetime national address from the Oval Office on Sunday, U.S. President Joe Biden warned of the risks of political violence in the U.S., saying it's time to cool it down. My fellow Americans, I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And to remember, while we may disagree, we are not enemies. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. Earlier Sunday, Biden condemned the attempt assassination of Trump, calling for the nation to come together as one and announcing an independent security review to investigate how the attack occurred. Trump's aide said he was in great spirits and doing well after the shooting, which resulted in an injury to his right ear. According to the Butler County District Attorney, one spectator at the rally died in the shooting while another is in a serious condition. Trump took to social media some 13 hours after the shooting to thank those who prayed for him and urged Americans to stand united and show their true character as Americans. Trump also stated he would stick to his schedule despite the shooting. He arrived in Milwaukee on Sunday for the Republican National Convention, where he is set to be named the party's presidential nominee later this week. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.